Your website project is required to use a form that invokes server-side processing. You cannot use the textbook server-side processing in your project. Most students in our course use the free form processing provided by FormBuddy.com. Try out FormBuddy before you use it. Visit terrymorris.net slash contact.htm to fill out a form that uses FormBuddy to process the information and display a confirmation page. Enter information and submit the form. The form information is sent to FormBuddy. After FormBuddy processes the information, a form confirmation page is displayed. The purpose of a form confirmation page is to let your visitors know that their form was successfully submitted. I've configured the form buddy processing to send the form information in an email message. Here is the message for the form we just submitted. You've just seen an example of form processing with form buddy. To prepare to use form buddy for your website project, you'll create a web page that contains a form. Also, you need to create a very basic confirmation page, a thank you page, to display after your form is processed. The form confirmation page does not count towards the minimum number of pages required for your project since it takes about less than a minute to create. Use one of your project web pages as a starting point, save the file with the new name, and replace the page content area with a thank you message. Next, visit FormBuddy.com. Scroll down the home page at FormBuddy.com and sign up for a free account. You'll receive an email from FormBuddy with a hyperlink to click to confirm your sign up. After you've signed up, visit FormBuddy.com and log in. The member page displays. Select Options. This page displays the options I selected for my FormBuddy account. I've selected to have form information emailed to me. I've also selected the pop-up ad type. Since most people have their browsers set to block pop-ups, the ads won't be displayed. Once you've set your options, click the Change Options button. A message will indicate that your options have been changed. Next, select Instructions from the navigation menu to find out how you need to configure your form. Review the example code on the instructions page. The form elements method and action attribute values are specified. These are crucial. Use the exact values provided here. FormBuddy uses hidden form fields for you to send them your account information, information about any required fields on the form, and the URL for the web page you want to display after the form is processed. You will need to change the value of the username form field to your actual FormBuddy username. I recommend that you set the value of the REQD form field to zero to bypass FormBuddy's form editing. You will need to change the value of the URL form field to the URL of the confirmation page that you uploaded to your website. The source code on this slide shows an example of how to configure the form elements to work with your account and website. Configure the username hidden form field with the username you used when you signed up with FormBuddy.com. To keep things easy, set the REQD value to zero. This prevents FormBuddy.com from doing any editing on your form. Configure the URL value with the URL of the confirmation page you created earlier and uploaded to your website. After you edit your form, be sure to upload your revised file to your website. Here's a helpful checklist for you to use as a guide as you add form processing to your project.